right, guys, you ready? All the best of luck. Hold on. Timers? Timers all set? Okay. Three, two, one, go! Live Shucking and Wild Play, here we go! For the final of the Shucking Contest at the Wild Play Oyster Fest! History and destiny and shellfish combined! Who will take home $2,000? give you an idea of the time commitment. This is a one year old. This is growth for about six months. It went out into field at this size and grew this much more in, in, an, in a summer, this amount. So that's a one year old. Yeah. This, by way of comparison, is a year and a half. So it puts on that much more growth in a good summer. The Massachusetts Oyster Project is an all-volunteer nonprofit. Uh, we're supporting oyster restoration throughout the state of Massachusetts, and uh, the reason for that is to clean up the water. So oysters can filter up to 50 gallons of water per day per single adult oyster. So you can imagine an entire reef of oysters cleaning up an entire harbor in any given day or several days, depending on how big that harbor is. So uh, what we're here to do is spread awareness about oyster restoration. Typically in the dumpster over here, it would be full of uh, recycled oyster shells. This year, unfortunately, with the uh, Wellfleet Harbor being closed to shellfish, uh, we don't have any oysters, but um, you know, in years past, this entire dumpster would be full of oysters, uh, shells, which will go back into the harbor here in Wellfleet, and that helps with the oyster restoration, restoration efforts. Um, we have a natural set here in Wellfleet, so fortunately, uh, when the oysters spawn, they have shell to, to settle on. The baby oysters can then grow and uh, create a natural oyster reef to clean the harbor. We support the, the local community as well as the shellfishing and aquaculture industries. And SPAT is an acronym for a newly attached baby oyster. So that's where that name comes from. And this year is kind of an interesting festival because we don't have any raw shellfish. There were some illnesses over the last week and a half and so that triggered a closure of Wellfleet Harbor. So shellfishermen can't harvest oysters here for the next 21 days. There, it's gonna be. Just watch your step. So now you can start seeing the oysters. There was nothing five years ago here. Nothing. You can start seeing them. They're absolutely attaching everywhere because this is like a little hot spot for them where they are spawning from. If you come here in the culvert, and that's what the whole idea became, like we have so many culverts like this, 
all over the cities. Why don't we just create an oyster reef here? Come see this. See? So it's about 150,000 oysters that we have here, maybe more. And if nobody is going to touch it, they will spawn and recreate a really nice reef here that water goes in and out and also provides a habitat for so many other species. If we start creating such hot spots all over the Boston, where they're a little bit protected, yeah, because they don't need sun, and the tide is exchanging twice a day and they have enough food, so they can just filter and grow. And they're smart species. They're very old, uh, smart species that evolved and they know when to spawn. If there are enough of them, they will spawn. If there are only a few of them, they're not going to spawn. <laughs> because why waste energy when you don't know what's going to happen with that egg or sperm or wherever it goes. So. They got babies growing on them. That's great. And then the, the other thing that happens is when you can get the oyster population growing, you're gonna start to see other um, marine life growing as well. So you're gonna start to see more clams, more mussels mm -hmm. that you can see are living and clustering. So this is where we started. Here. And then you notice they're moving. So now they're growing. They're sort of reaching out. How are you guys working with uh, restaurants to promote recycling? So what we do is we we go around and we talk to different restaurant owners, and they take the shell after they shuck them for their customers and they put them in buckets and then we go by and we collect the buckets. We take the shell actually down the street here in Charlestown to save that stuff where we have a big container. Just dump the shells in there. The shells have to stay outside for a year to sort of age to get rid of all of the bacteria that grows on it. And then we can take that shell and drop it off at our facility in Wellfleet or Wareham or Winthrop or for other farmers who might want to take the shell so then we donate the shell. Mm -hmm. So they're donating it to us, it's taking it out of the waste stream so it doesn't end up in a landfill. So we hope that everybody leaves here with a, a greater sense that this industry is one of ups and downs. It's not, it's not something you just go to, you know, the supermarket and it's always on the shelf. There's a lot of hard work that goes behind putting that oyster in the supermarkets or in the fish markets, and uh, you know, having you understand a greater sense of that is one of the the, the main missions of SPAT. <laughs>
hashtag will we get arrested for trespassing. <laughs> oh well. Oh. We're doing research. We have to walk on this. Oh, Ooh. oh no! <laughs>